Today we're going to talk about why the crop artist drew this beautiful coded crop picture near a windmill in 2010 and it had a code for Euler's identity, a mathematical formula, and it was a big disk which looked like this with horizontal lines and it had binary code in it. And it was next to a windmill to indicate that it should be some sort of rotation. Now let's suppose we had a copper disc of almost the same type with 12 segments just like in the crop circle. And I've cut a little thing here so the current can go in and out. And on top of that we put a rotor with 12 magnets, one in each end of every groove, and the magnets alternate all around between N and S, alternating N and S. We put that on top of this copper disc, and then after we do that we'll learn why they drew the crop picture. I'll show you in a minute. We put these 12 magnets on top of that copper disc, and we try to spin them. The eddy currents are just tremendous. We can't do anything. We can't even spin them. If we try to measure millivolts, maybe we can get one or two millivolts. That's a, a little bit. If we try to measure milliamps coming out of it, we get maybe a couple milliamps through these leads from one side or the other out into the multimeter as the currents flow through the disk due to the magnets. So this device is basically useless as it stands. So let's now ask why it looks so much like this and why the crop artist put all these lines in it. That's quite interesting, isn't it? Let's replace it now with another disc, which is cut the same way with lines, as shown. Next, what we're going to do is take cut some grooves horizontally in this copper disc with 12 segments so that it looks almost like what was drawn in crops. See, this was what was drawn in crops. And we're going to put the same magnet of 12 little cube magnets alternating NS all around it. And now it's going over this device rather than the plain thing, it's supposed to spin like a windmill. It was originally coded in binary, but we're just putting the lines for electrical purposes. Now here it is. A little effort went into this, and you can see leads come off the side into a multimeter so we can measure current and voltage. Now remember the one with no lines, we couldn't even spin it. We couldn't get any current. Now let's just what hap watch what happens when we put the rotor on top of this and spin it. Here we are now. We've put this 12 magnet rotor on top of the disc with all the little holes in it. And now it spins at least 10 times more freely. A little bit of friction, but it's spinning quite freely. And if we measure voltage coming off of it, we can get about 5 to 10 millivolts quite easily. If we measure current coming off of it, we can get milliamps without doing anything, 5 milliamps or so without doing anything. The major thing is we couldn't even turn it before and now it spins quite freely. Look at that. And the reason is all these little lines in the disk reduce eddy currents and it allows the magnets to spin through the disk. So let's do a final comparison. This is the disk with the lines in it with the magnet spinning over. It's friction but you can still spin it and let's put the other one back and see now. Now this is the mag same magnetic rotor over the disk with no lines cut it out. I can hardly turn the thing at all. So the other one spins at least 10 times more freely. The 80 currents are just tremendous here. We can't do anything with it. It's completely useless. As a final reminder of what we've done today, we've got two copper discs, two millimeter thick and about 300 millimeter wide. This one with all these horizontal lines in it would be not perfect, but it would be a reasonable DC AC generator with two magnets spinning over it. This one would not because the eddy currents are so high. Here's some magnets we just tested it with. And that's why they drew this crop circle in 2010. So we'd build the device, and here it is. Here's a device, it's coded, it says high actually. A mathematical formula that says spin and then high. So this device is useless. 12 lines with no currents, but we put the lines in that it becomes potentially an effective AC electrical generator. And that was why they drew the crop picture. They're showing us electrical information in crops. Does everybody get that now? Thank you very much.